Thank you for joining us. Our guests today are Professor George Einstein of USAT and Dr. Orion Tulp, the president of USAT, the British West Indies-based University of Science, Arts and Technology. It is this institution from which dozens of physicians graduate successfully, many from humble beginnings or from various nations, including the United States. Regardless of race or gender or culture, USAT has created a program of superior excellence and in training physicians and other professionals to meet the demands of scientific and medical needs in this global technological environment. Professor Einstein and Dr. Tulp will tell us more about these achievements following these messages. With us now is Dr. Orion Tulp, President of USAT, the University of Science, Arts and Technology, Montserrat. Pleasure and honor to have you back on Thank this. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to be back. So many things are happening in education worldwide and, of course, uh, in your part of the world. You do classes in Miami, Denver, and Montserrat. What's new with USAT? USAT is now fully accredited in the United Kingdom. Uh, we're now preparing for our 2014 uh, commencement, which will be held right here in Miami. Uh, we expect to graduate more than 100 students, which is more than any other Caribbean school, uh, just by the way. And we'll have uh, uh, this ceremony, we want family to come. It's, it's a great opportunity, a great experience. And it, it enables those that graduate to experience closure, because uh, now it's another chapter of their career. And USAT is contributing so effectively in the lives and careers of many people in this part of the world. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We have a lot of physicians now in the state of Florida that are summer practicing. Uh, many more are in residency in their specialty training. It's moving ahead very quickly and very rapidly. Uh, we're now the fastest, as near as I can see, we are the fastest growing medical school in the Caribbean. So the University of Science, Arts and Technology also is expanding into other programs, I understand. Tell us yes, about these. Yes, we are. We have a new program we intend to start in, in, by September. Uh, this will be uh, medical acupuncture designed for physicians, uh, licensed physicians that wish to add that. We're going to create a unique new program which will lead to a Master of Science in Medical Acupuncture. Uh, that will be conducted in, in our Miami campus to start with and probably extend that into some of the other campuses as well as time goes along. Uh, this is a course in which we'll train physicians, licensed physicians, to incorporate acupuncture into their medical practice. And we've already had a lot of interest from Europe for Europeans to come and take this course. Uh, it should be very, very useful and very effective. And that would be one of the newer programs that we want to start. Certainly very interesting. Yeah. Another area of great concern, greater than ever, is that of sterilization. I understand that USAT is also going to offer new programs in the need to purify and sterilize equipment. Well, we are one of the only, I think we are the only medical school in North America that includes the field of biophotonics in the academic program. And biophotonics is a unique way to cure infectious diseases uh, it's all natural in the sense that it uses ultraviolet radiation. Uh, it will cure such things as uh, uh, mirrors and uh, uh, antimicrobial resistant organisms of all sorts, as well as those that aren't resistant. And we, we have a lot of research going on in that area. We've just presented one paper at a national conference in San Diego on, in this area. Uh, with Professor Einstein, who's heading up that part. He is one of the world authorities in biophotonics and infectious diseases. And uh, he's, he's been working on this, this proposal for many, many years. Uh, it's, it's working out very well. It's a fairly simple, straightforward technique. It's easily incorporated into most medical practices. And it, it minimizes, it decreases the need to rely on antibi antibiotics. Uh, antimicrobials because it bypasses that step. It's interesting that biophotonics used to be used to treat infections 
before the development of antibiotics. And now that we've gone through the gamut of antibiotics, it's time to bring it back. Fascinating. Yes. Another area is USAT is also getting involved more in the area of education and multimedia, an area of particular interest to me. We are indeed. We are indeed. One of the additional items on the agenda for this coming year is, is, is establish a multimedia program leading to an appropriate uh, academic degree with that. Uh, it could be up to and including the PhD. Uh, we have the largest, to the best of my knowledge, we have the largest MD PhD program in North America right now with about 100 students in the joint double degree program. Very impressive. And that's, and we, we have, this past week we had four PhD theses defenses and they were just outstanding. Now in your Montserrat base, I understand that there's an expansion going on there as well. There is. We have a proposal for uh, redevelopment of the campus with new classrooms, a private hospital, a teaching hospital, and you know, more resources on the island. Uh, with the help of our IT department, we have established this month, we'll put the finishing touches on our own satellite communications from the campus. Again, the only Caribbean school that will have established their own satellite communications so that students have greater access to the internet, greater access to lectures and, and discussions from uh, far away. Uh, they'll be able to, on the campus, we'll, we'll have capacity for probably up to about a thousand laptops simultaneously, all surfing then at the same time. It's a remarkable system and it will be finished before the end of the month. Before we conclude, sir, please share with our audience your plans for the future. Well, the university is continuing to expand. Uh, our goal is to have uh, we, we, twice as many students in each succeeding year. We've doubled our student enrollments each year for the past five years. And that, that in itself is pretty remarkable in the current economic climate. Uh, we are in the process of affiliating with some additional North American universities. Uh, and that will also give us a much larger uh, student base than, you know, than we have now as we're expanding up into uh, the Northeast Carter and other areas of the country uh, with our satellite campuses, our satellite programs. They've been very successful. Uh, and one of the most important things about these, the satellite programs are all developed around the concept that you can continue to work and study at the same time. So most of them hold full-time employment and they're able to complete the medical degree in oftentimes a little bit less time than it would take for a traditional medical university, medical school to, to accomplish. They score better on the exams because we coach them through the exams, we guide them through the exams uh, in a very targeted uh, system uh, that they cannot fail, and most of the very few, it's, it's rare that we have a failure on that exam, very rare. We have the highest pass rate, higher than even U.S. medical schools. This year and last year, our residency place, placement rate at the end of the year, when they graduate with the MD degree, they have to go to residency specialty training. The average for U.S. schools was 93 percent. We scored 100 percent two years in a row. That's, that's pretty commendable. This certainly is most commendable, very inspiring, and a pleasure having you on the show again, Thank sir. You. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here.